You guys get natural, Katie, today. I didn't do anything with my hair, so it's gonna be wavy. I have a little bit of foundation on just because I had to go out for my glasses, and I only have mascara on because for the same reason. As you can tell by my voice, if you can't really, you know, distinguish this, um, I'm sick. <laughs> That's, yeah, exactly what I needed this week. I have such a busy week this week that being sick is the last thing I needed, but I was supposed to go down to the Senate today um, for a thingy, the tobacco the non tobacco advocacy day where they're trying to raise the taxes on um, tobacco products. And I was supposed to go um, talk to legislators about how they should do that for voice club today, and then our trip got canceled. And I, my, everyone already knew I was going to be gone anyway, and I was started feeling sick, and so I was like, hey mom, dad, is it okay if I stay home? And they were like, sure. So I got to stay home and get better, because I have solo and ensemble this weekend, or I guess yesterday when you guys watch this. Um, so yes, this is, this is natural me. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I've been, I've been in that mood lately where I've really been feeling myself a little bit, and I've just been kind of you know, enjoying who I am and how I naturally look. So this is just me. I might pull my hair back a little bit. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Okay, well anyway, today I wanted to talk about something fun. So I recently, if you know me, if you follow my Snapchat and if you are friends with me, you know me, I am have been reading this book called Love in First Sight. This book is by Josh Sundquist, and he is one of my favorite authors. My favorite author is Nicholas Sparks. I'm a huge romance novel reader. I love anything romance, kind of. I don't know. I'm just, I'm almost romantic in that. I hope it's romantic in that way. Um, and I really just I love these kinds of books because it's like I don't know. It's like an alternate kind of reality. I'm realizing something right now. Hold on. it. Um, I'm just such a hopeless romantic that I love reading about romance and my book that I'm writing is even a little bit about romance um, for like the three people who have access to it um, and have read it. So um, yeah, but this book I really I really wanted to talk about it. So if you've seen my channel, if you've been on my channel for a while or even if you've just looked around in my channel for a while, you may have seen that I I did a like kind of like a video about his last book called We Should Hang Out Sometime because it just changed my life. I love that book so much. I give it to all my friends whenever they ask for a book recommendation because I just I love it. It's such a good insight about love and romance that's more realistic than a Nicholas Sparks book would be. Sure, a lot of that stuff, that fairy tale stuff, can be realistic, but what he does, what Josh Sundquist does, is he makes it a fairy tale in a more realistic aspect, and it's. It's literary, it's literary gold. I love it. <laughs> and his books are just so good. So when he came out, when I found out he was coming out with this new book, I flipped. <laughs> I immediately bought it on Amazon. I bought the hardcover so it'll last me forever and I love it. I just finished it and I really want to talk about this book because and even though you can't see the cover because it's like really dark, it's really bright. Look at that. Isn't it cute? Um, but I really wanted to talk about this book just because it's it, it blew my mind. <laughs> so as I was reading it, I kept thinking, it's about a boy who is blind and was born blind and he ends up falling in love for a girl for who she is, but then he gets the chance to actually get sight. He, get, he can have an experimental procedure where he gets new corneas, new stem cells, everything, so that he can be able to see again. And he has to choose between wanting to see again for the first time in his life or... or risking everything that he's already known and it's a, I thought that was all the book was gonna be but really when I finished the book it is about true beauty and what beauty is beauty really is the eye of the beholder I <laughs> this book floored me at first I was just like this is so cute they're so cute together him and the girl but then towards the end there's a whole scene I put it on my snapchat story actually there's a whole part where he starts talking about how um, how beautiful she really is on the inside and he doesn't really care that much about her appearance and he can name off paragraphs of things that he loves about her inside and I can't tell you how beautiful that was like I'm gonna find this page and I'm gonna read this off to you this is the page that I love and I was like floored by this writing as I walk my mind races with questions do people have a duty to disclose what they look like to their blind friends 
If you know someone who can't see, is there something more and more is there some moral obligation to tell them about any flaws in your appearance early on? Like, hey, I know we just met recently, but in case you start feeling attracted to me, you should know that for whatever, whatever reason, society wouldn't say I'm beautiful. Because that's all it is, right? Society or the media or whoever says people should look a certain way, and the more people, the more you deviate from that, the less beautiful you are. But there's obviously something deeper going on with attraction, right? Something beyond just what society says is beautiful or not. Like I was attracted to Cecily without ever even seeing her clearly with my eyes. Because I know her. I know what she's like inside. I know how she expresses herself and the way she loves to take photos and watch sunrises. And that's what I'm attracted to. And reading that just floored me. I read it more than once. <laughs> I had to keep rereading it because I loved it. I love how it gives a more real aspect on what love really is and what beauty really is to everyone else. Sure, you may, the, everyone has their own their own sense of what's beautiful. Everyone can look at that person and be like, that's beautiful, and then someone else can be like, I don't think that's beautiful. Everyone has different opinions, we all had different views on everything in life, including beauty. And I love how he shows that, sure, everyone has like different, different things that they can find beautiful in another person, but we all have also a same, a same kind of beauty that we all see, like the one the media shows us and what's what's socially what is socially acceptable. Like I could walk into school wearing like, I don't know, like Burberry and no one would ever know that I'm wearing Burberry. They would say, oh she's dressed up too much. But if I walk in wearing vineyard vines, everyone's gonna be like, oh you look cute today. And I'm not joking because that's happened before. Stuff like that has happened to me before. Because it's it's our society. <laughs> it's seriously our society nowadays and I can't I can't begin to tell you how great this book made me feel about myself and uh, like what I find beautiful. Like I have been in love, I've liked people, I even like someone right now if I'm being honest. Um, and I... It's interesting when you start like, when you start like thinking, when you say someone is beautiful or when you say someone has a certain aspect of them that you really like and you tell someone about it and they're like, well, why, does, why are you attracted to them? Why are you attracted to this person? And you explain that maybe it's by the way that they do this, the way they say this, the way they feel about life. I've been told by some of my friends and by other people that the one thing they love about me is how happy I am. And the one thing that people are really attracted to with me is how happy and how outspoken I can be. I will talk your ear off, <laughs> and that's a downfall sometimes, but that's just me. <laughs> But I've heard that by my words, my wisdom is what people really like about me. And it surprises me to think that beauty can sometimes be deeper than what's on the surface. Because I mean, I'm wearing a stitch shirt right now. <laughs> I'm barely wearing any makeup. And I bet there's someone out there that's probably looked at me and be like, you're beautiful. And that's one reason I didn't even wear makeup for this video. Because I thought, you know what? I'm going to show my actual beauty for this video. I'm going to show what I am inside and out. And I mean, inside I am a weird person weird Disney nerd and on the outside I wanted to show it I don't always wear makeup I wear makeup for me I don't wear it for anyone else I don't wear it because I'm self-conscious I love who I am and I love my body and I love everything about me I wear makeup because it makes me feel good and because I've grown up with it and I love it because it's fun it's just fun I do that kind of stuff for myself I have such faith in humanity. I have love for everyone around me. And lately, people have been literally trying to bring me down just because I'm positive. One day, I heard a girl say that she didn't like me because I smiled at her. And what kind of self-centered thing is that? To ever hear that you don't like a person because they smiled at you, because they were happy. The other day, a girl yelled at me because I told her because I told her something positive, like "Don't worry about this. This is gonna be. It'll be taken care of. Don't worry." And she got mad at me for it. What is our society turned into? The more I read like this book, and the more I started thinking about my life right now, the more it really pertained to me and to the world and to everyone. Because no matter what you think about life, everyone has a different opinion on beauty and different opinion on what is going on in society. And you can't really change that, but what you can do is embrace your opinions, embrace your flaws, embrace everything that's going on in your life because we are all so different and that's just the beauty of humanity in general. 
that's one beauty that everyone can ha should have a consensus on, that everyone is beautiful no matter what they actually think about this or what they think about that or what they really think about in the world. We all have different opinions and it's so beautiful. That's what I love about humanity is that's, and that's why I have faith in humanity. I have faith because everything is meant to happen for a reason. That's why like if something bad happens to me, I don't get super upset about it because I know it was meant to happen. I don't get why with a society nowadays that we have to slam people for being different or for having some differences with ourselves because that's just what's beautiful about humanity. What's beautiful is that we're all different. And this book really brought it out in a different way. Like they showed how it was hard for him because he was blind, but people still accepted him. And it was hard for her because she had something wrong with her and people weren't as, as accepting with it because they all had a different perception of what beauty should be with another person. And they all had a different perception of what everyone should look like or what everyone should be like in their world. And so she had to actually shove everything back inside of her. And she was very careful about showing what who she is to everyone else. Part of the reason I love YouTube is because I can show the world who I am and it's and people accept it. I get comments on all my videos about how it's great and how I like how I look great and how all this stuff like this and how all that jazz. And that makes me feel good because this is me. This is me being me and me talking about how I have faith and love in everyone and how I try to be as kind to everyone as I can. But the moment you start thinking that someone else's opinions are wrong is the moment that I pity you. <laughs> it sounds kind of bad, but I do. Because you don't see the true beauty behind you, and you need to see the true beauty behind you and the true beauty behind humanity before you can ever say that someone else is wrong, because no one's wrong. Everyone is right in their own right. So I hope that made some sense. Um, go get this book, because especially if you read this book and then watch this video again, it'll make a lot more sense. It's a very good book, and... I, I can't tell you how much I love this book right now. It's so good, but I love you all. And no matter what you're ever going through, no matter who tells you you're wrong, no matter who tells you that you can't be a certain way, no matter who tells you or what tells you you can't look a certain way, no matter what society tells you, no matter what the human race is going through, be you and be confident in you. Love yourself and love who you are because you're you and no one can replace you. No one is you. You are you. You're unique. And, and love yourself for being that. That's what I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. My social media links are below, and I will see you guys later. Bye.